this video segment, we're going to review different ways to mix silicone rubber. There are basically three ways that we can mix silicone rubber. One is by using, by volume, using the included containers when you buy smaller kits, by weight, using a scale, or by dumping the entire bottle of Catalyst in with the base at one time and mixing the entire container. Alumalite has two different silicones and as far as how they mix. One is a uh, 10 to 1 mix ratio, which is, means you mix 10 parts of the base to one part of the catalyst. And we also have some uh, 1 to 1 mix ratio silicones where you take equal amounts of each side by weight or by volume. Today we're going to be showing you how to mix the 10 to 1 versions because the 1 to 1 versions are pretty self-explanatory. Before you begin, you want to make sure that all of your originals are all sealed up in their mold boxes and ready to go. And it does help that you have an extra mold available so that if you have excess silicone remaining after your mix, you can always pour it over that item and add to it later if necessary. That way you don't waste any silicone. We have a kit here of amazing mold rubber that you can buy at uh, uh, various craft stores such as Hobby Lobby or Michaels. To start out with this system, you want to make sure that you take the catalyst and give it a little shake to make sure that all the dye is suspended within the catalyst. The dye is important because it helps you know when the silicone is properly mixed. Secondly, you want to take your base of silicone and we've already removed the foil caps on both the catalyst and the base. And you want to give this just a light mix just to make sure there wasn't any settling or anything um, to make sure that everything's mixed in really nicely and when you pour off what you need that's exactly what you expect it to be. Now the base is usually really thick as you can see here just want to take your time and mix it and just make sure that there's uh, uh, nothing settling towards the bottom and, and usually, which usually isn't the case, but uh, this just helps to ensure that your base is, uh, is ready to go as well. The first method of mixing silicone that we're going to show you today is by volume. So we're going to go ahead and take um, our measuring cups here. These are one ounce measuring cups and basically for measuring by volume the ratio is two fluid ounces of base, which is the thick part, to one scoop or a quarter ounce of catalyst. Now when pouring silicone it can be really stringy and hard to work with. So this technique you'll have it'll take you a little bit to get down. But as you start pouring, you can usually just take the container as you get close to your two I'm sorry, this would be your first fluid ounce. Just by taking and wiping the rim, and then just taking your stick and cleaning the edge up. And yes, this can be messy, so make sure you have a surface that you don't mind getting a little silicone on that you can uh, clean up down the road. And we'll do it with our second here. You can also use the same cup too if you didn't want to dirty two cups. So I have a paper cup here, and you want to make sure that in, for your mixing cup that you use uh, a container that has flat sides and a flat bottom so that you can adequately scrape both to ensure that your silicone is mixed. All right, now that we have our two fluid ounces of base inside the cup, we're gonna go ahead and mix in our one scoop or a quarter ounce of catalyst. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get her mixed. And you take your time mixing. And what you'll see here is you'll have the pink catalyst that kinda uh, will slowly begin to get mixed in with your base. And what you're looking for is for the entire batch of silicone to be a consistent color without any streaks. It's very important to wipe your stick off a couple times throughout the mixing process and also to scrape the sides to make sure there isn't unmixed silicone along the sides of the cup. And then just scrape your bottom. 
With this product, you have about 20 minutes of open time, which is the amount of time to get the silicone mixed and poured into your mold box. And that's plenty of time. A lot of our other silicones will have 30, even maybe close to 40 minutes of open time. So you have plenty of time to get this mixed and in your mold box. So we're just about mixed here. So we'll pour a couple molds that we have ready. I'm going to try and pour from one side of the mold if possible. And let the silicone naturally flow in and around the detail of your piece. This helps minimize any air bubbles getting trapped against your master or original. If you do scrape out your container, be very careful not to scrape too much into the nooks and crannies because you, you can scrape unmixed silicone onto the surface of your mold and it could remain tacky. So it's kind of a best practice to stay away from all those little cracks and crevices of your cups if they have any. Okay, next we're going to demonstrate how to mix your silicone by weight. So here we have a, a digital gram scale. This doesn't have to be a real fancy scale. It can even be a kitchen scale. But you want to make sure that you can measure in grams. It's about the best measurement for mixing silicones. So you want to power your scale on. You'll see that it should zero out. When you put your cup on, uh, you want to make sure that's zero as well. So uh, for my scale here, it's just by hitting the power button again, and that takes it to zero to make sure that we're not including the weight of the cup into the measurement. And next we're going to just measure out the base. You want to go 10 parts base to one part of the catalyst. All right, so we're at about 50. And so you want to take uh, one part of your catalyst, which is 10% of your base, so we'll want to add about 5 grams of catalyst. And so I'm going to zero out my scale again. So it takes it back to zero and I'm just going to put in 5 grams of the catalyst. If you go over a little bit like we did there, don't worry. Um, you just don't want to go over too much because uh, the more catalyst you add, you, can, you might not have enough catalyst to mix your remaining silicone and it could accelerate the cure of your silicone uh, quicker than you want it to. We're going to follow the same steps in mixing by just making sure that that catalyst is mixed in really well. Go ahead and pour it into our mold box. Okay, and lastly, we're going to show you how to mix uh, basically by taking your entire bottle of catalyst and adding it to your base. All lumilite silicones are packaged with catalyst, having enough catalyst to mix your entire amount of base. So even though we've mixed two different ways already here, I know that the catalyst that I have remaining is enough to cure this base here. So we're going to pour this mold, so I'm going to just dump the remaining amount of catalyst in with the base. And I'm just going to mix it right inside this container. And we're ready to pour. Don't worry, if you don't have enough, for example, for this mold, your next batch of silicone that you pour on top of this will fuse right to it. And that's how you mix silicone. If you have any questions about mixing silicone or any other questions, please feel free to give us a call. You can reach us at 1-800-447-9344.